Hello, this is Jason Dragon. I'm going to show you some of our mining machines right now. So this is what I call my open rig. We have a riser card here in case we want to test riser card capabilities. This particular card is a Gigabyte RX 480. Very, very nice card. It's actually one of the cards that I showed off in our unboxing video. We also have two of our silver machines. This is our standard silver machine that we have on our website. They turn on right away. I mean, sure to show you kind of how they look with the lights off. Very, very cool. So this one here is the uh, RX 480. Four gigs of RAM. Really, really nice. It glows and it says Sapphire. Right next to it over here we have this is an R8. Um, this is the R9 380. Right here, it's also from Sapphire. So you'll see that this one uses two six-pin connectors, while this one has an adapter to go into one giant eight-pin connector. So next, I'm going to show you uh, my main server. This is our upstairs work environment. So this is my main server I actually use. It has a 4K monitor. And on this one, I have an RX 480, a uh, MSI right there, built into our main server. And of course, it's mining. And that actually runs our file server. And it runs this giant 4K monitor. And it all works perfectly. So let me go and I'll go downstairs and show you some of our downstairs computers. Hello, so this is our brand new system. This runs the AMD dual core processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 160 gig hard drive, with two Radeon 580 processor of GPUs. The fans are spinning much faster than they look like in here. Um, it's just the frame rate. So as you can see right here, this particular computer, uh, we have been running afterburner to make the fans go at full speed. We have not overclocked or changed anything on those settings. And this computer right here is doing about 43 mega hash. Um, each card is doing about, well one card is doing about 20 and a half, the other one is doing 22. So we're probably going to tweak this a little bit more, get them both to 22. It's probably just needing to be cooled a little bit more. Unfortunately, we're in Arizona and it's really hot. Uh, these are currently running at 71 degrees Celsius. So let me show you, there's another computer we're fixing. Here's where we build the computers. We have this nice Sapphire machine we're building uh, later today. So let me show you our warehouse. So this is our warehouse. Up there we have six more of our silver machines. Most of these are our older generation and they are running the R9 380. Very, very good. And then over here, let me walk around. I'll show you we have, this is our warehouse where we build all the machines. Uh, we do a lot more than just Ethereum obviously. We're a full service computer recycling center, computer store. So here are a lot more of the silver machines that we're building. These are the side panels for the silver machines, um, the brackets for the hard drives. So we have quite a few of these ready to go, about 70 or 80 more. Um, all we need to do is pop in a video card and we have a nice machine. Over here we have a few more um, machines. These are our, my Triggs computers. This was made for an investor. Uh, he mined with them for a while and then unfortunately he had the, well fortunately for him he decided to retire and travel the world so he brought them back here. So I'm mining, he paid for the hardware so one of them is mining for me and one of them is mining for him and I watch them and make sure that they run perfectly. Um, these ones have actually been sitting here for about a couple months. It's really cool with the lights off, I love it. So these have been sitting here for a couple of months and they've been running non-stop for, well other than when he moves them, they were running in his apartment for a long time. But these ones are actually over a year old and they're still chugging away. 
And over there, on top of these, we've used filing cabinets as a table, of course. And then over there, we have some of our 480 RX machines. We have our Asus one, a Sapphire one, and a Power Color one. And one of those machines is actually another 380. Anyway, uh, we have one test monitor over here. You'll notice we have them in little pods of about six computers. And the reason we do that is, well, let me just turn around. The reason that we put them in pods of six computers is that's about how many you can get on one electrical 20 amp circuit without blowing the circuit. When we had more than six computers, if anybody plugged anything else in, boom, the circuit would get blown and that was it. Anyway, last I'm going to show you, um, if you're wondering why the lights go on and off, we, we, are in a, we have motion sensors to save electricity, so it depends if I'm not in the right part of the room, it won't turn on the motion. Anyway, saving electricity is a big thing, of course. So let me show you one last thing, is the fact that you can actually use these computers and game on them while they're mining at full speed. So I decided here at the office to build two computers for my kids. I just gave them two of the silver machines with the 480s in them, the Sapphire one, and they're using them as gaming machines. They play a game called Roblox and a couple other games. It's pretty cool. Um, I also have a couple of those double card 580 machines. I have two of those at home for the kids, and then I have another one for my wife, and another one, well mine's a, a different one. Um, so mine's an R9390, and that one's really cool too. So we have all these different machines, but let me show you how they game. Hopefully they're gaming right now. Oh, they're not gaming. So the computers are right there, um, hooked up, ready to go for gaming. So you can see them mining right there. So this computer is mining at 24.4 mega hash. And that's the computer right there, just one of our standard silver machines. Um, they do dissipate the heat about the same the other way as they do if they're st sitting on their back like this. And this computer here is also a Sapphire RX 480, also doing 24.41. Anyway, here's the kids. Say hi everybody to the people on the internet. Hello. Now they're just watching YouTube videos of Roblox. Anyway. No, not. Well, we have a good time here mining and having fun. We'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in getting an Ethereum rig, go to emeraldcomputers.com slash ETH. Uh, on that page there's some basic information on how to build your own rig. Um, if you're interested in buying one, there's a link on there to our page where we sell the rigs. All of the silver machines that you see in stock here are for sale. Um, simply because I'm going to be putting, I can sell you these and they're turnkey ready to go and then I'll just buy the card and a week later I'll build another one and be up myself. So. If you want to buy those, sounds great. If you'd like the RX 580 in your silver machine, I can use the ones that are here and we'll be able to get to that. Well, thanks and have a great day over here at Emerald Computers. So here we are, some more dual card Ethereum rigs. These are the brand new RX 580s. There are two of them in each computer. Uh, these ones happen to be the Asus ones, simply because the Asus ones come in white and these cases matched perfectly to the video card. Um, here are the kids playing their games. There are two of them in each computer. They're mining at full speed, 47 mega hash on each of these two computers. So, this is actually at my house now, so let me go over here real quick and show you where I actually mine. So this is one of our red bone compu computer cases right here. This one has two matching RX 580 power color um, ones in it. You can't really see much, it's just kind of an ornate, a little red case. It has a really cool red, super smooth plastic right there. And this one also mines very, very efficiently. And over here, you can see the famous background where I make all my videos. This is actually my personal rig. I opened the side panel right here, and you can see the R9 390. This by itself, just one card, gets 32 mega hash. Unfortunately, these cards were not made very long, and they're very expensive. 
I only built about eight or nine of these in mining rigs. Um, and this is the last card that I still own. Anyway, these are really, really nice cards. So I'm going to make a video for y'all. Thanks, bye.